Running from the end of February to the start of April, the Cobble Classics are the highlight of many a cycling fan season. This six-week melodrama sees some of the hardest riders in cycling battle it out over some of the sport's hardest roads, as the peloton crisscrosses Flanders and North France. Some of the cobbled action is already out of the way, with wins from Michael Valger and Omloop Het Noisblad and Dylan Groenewegger and Kern Brussels Kern. The next big race is E3 Haralbecker. This race covers many of the same roads as the Tour of Flanders, but has a 20 km gap between the final climb up the Tegenberg and the finishing Kortrijk, giving the potential for compelling tactical games. Greg van Avermaet is the defending champion and will once again hope to take victory in this vital warm-up race. The next race on the calendar is Gent Vevelgem, which sees the racing move slightly to the southwest and even make a few forays across the border into France. The highlight of the race is the Kemmelberg, but this comes nearly 45 kilometers from the finish line, meaning that there is more of a chance for the sprinters to get in on the act. The Wednesday after Gent Vevelgem sees the rescheduled Dwarves door Vlaanderen, which will give the riders one last chance to see the vital climbs of the Eurde Quarmont and Paterberg ahead of the Tour of Flanders. Run over nearly 270 kilometers and taken in nearly 20 cobbled climbs, the Tour of Flanders is one of the toughest races on the calendar. The most important climbs on the route are the Eurde Quarmont and Paterberg, which are tackled three times and often provide the launching pad for vital attacks. Philippe Gilbert is the defending Flanders champion, taking victory in the 101st edition of the race last year with a stunning 55km solo effort. Fingers crossed we see similar attacking racing in 2018. The good news for riders who fall short in Flanders is that there is a chance for redemption seven days later at Paris-Roubaix. The hell of the north might not have the climbing of the Tour of Flanders, but the cobbles are far more uneven, with riders fighting for the smoother line in the middle of the road or risking a puncture by riding in the gutter. There are 29 sectors of cobbles on the route, with the racing really getting underway at the first five-star sector at Trouet d'Arenberg, with just under 100 kilometers remaining. And from there, the pave is relentless, with more brutal sectors at mont en pavel and the Carrefour de l'Arbre. Greg Van Avermaet capped a stellar classic season with victory in 2017 lifting the cobblestone trophy in the iconic Roubaix Velodrome to bring the curtain down on probably the best six weeks of the cycling year.